this video is going to show you how to create a orthographic projection drawing of your clock design. I've just done a quick sketch of my card model, not actual size, and I've put the dimensions on it. So what I've done is I've measured from the widest part, which is on mine, it's the wingspan, so that's 190, and then I've also done the right at the bottom of the flame and measured right at the top there, which turns out to be 290 millimetres. Now, obviously, when I draw my orthographic projection drawing, you'll notice that my card model isn't really going to fit properly on the page. I want to do a scale drawing, so I'm going to divide these in half so to make my drawing smaller. So you can use a calculator, but obviously if you're just dividing by two, you probably would be able to do it in your head. Uh, 190 divided by two is 95. Okay, so that's in millimetres. I'm just going to write these measurements underneath. So basically, I want to draw a faint box on my grid paper that's 95 by 140. So now I know that I need to fit my design within this box. So what I've done is I've just marked out some guidelines on my drawing just so I know where the main features will go. Depending on your design, you may not need guidelines, you might be able to just draw yours freehand inside the big box. Now I've finished drawing the main outline of my clock design, I now need to draw the side of the clock. So what I'm going to do is using my ruler and pencil I'm going to draw projection lines to the side. So I need to do it from the top. I'm pressing quite lightly with my pencil. And I'm going to do it right at the bottom. What I'm also going to do is draw projection lines from the main features. Now I've drawn my projection lines in, I'm going to start drawing the side of my design. So it's going to look something like this. So the first thing we're going to do is draw the main body shape. So I need to decide what material I'm going to use. So I'm going to use 4mm MDF. So because it's 4mm and we're divided by 2, it's obviously 2mm. So I'm going to draw a line first. So I'm going to press slightly harder than my projection lines just to make sure it stands out a little bit more. I'm going to measure 2mm, so because it's only 2mm, I don't have to measure, I can just count the little tiny squares. Making sure your pencil's really nice and sharp for this because you want absolute accuracy. Okay, so that is how thin a 4mm MDF is going to show on my design. I've got as part of that as well, is I'm going to stick 4mm MDF on top for the this bit here. This is going to be a separate bit of material. That's also going to be stuck on the top there and also a 4mm MDF is going to be stuck in the middle there. So for this, because I'm doing the circle, I've got my projection lines drawn already. All I need to do is count one, two little tiny boxes and draw in the circle. And the circle, all that's going to look is like that on the side. This piece, again, 4mm, there's two little tiny boxes. Now my flame, that's actually two layers going backwards. So this time I'm going to be drawing it on this side. And again the flame, I need to think about how it's going to be stuck. So actually the flame is bigger than what it appears because I need to actually have a bit of surface area for it to be able to attach. Now the drill hole on the side, obviously on the front you can see the hole there. That is shown on the front as a solid line. However, on the side, when you turn it on its side, you have no idea that there's actually a drill hole going all the way through. You can't see that on the side. Okay, so the way you show that is literally, it's a little tiny, I don't have a lot of room for it, but I do need to do some little dashed lines just going through showing that this is where it's going to be drilled. So you can see now I've drawn in the clock mechanism, you've got the shaft going through there, 
I haven't drawn on the hands just yet. Now the next step is putting dimensions on it. So, so the dimensions are not what they are on here, because remember this is a scale drawing, it's the dimensions that your clock will be in real life. I'm going to start by turning my page. I want to do dimensions for the main body to start off with. And what's good is I've already got my projection lines drawn on and I'm going to write, so the height in real life of my clock is 290 millimetres. So I'm just going to do 290. I'm not going to put mm because I don't want, I'm trying to declutter my page as much as possible. And then what I need to do is just bring it up so it's kind of in the middle of the numbers I've just drawn. And I'm going to draw a line to my projection line, do a line to my projection line and I just want to as well put a little arrowhead on there and colour it in just so it's really clear that that's what I'm measuring from. And wherever the important areas are I'm going to apply dimensions and lines to them as well so it's important to know what size that circle is. To show the measurement of the hole and to show what drill bit needs using, all you need to do is draw a line and then we're just going to put a little label here. Um, so we put DI, which stands for dimension, and then we put 7.5 and it's a 7.5 drill bit that needs to be used. What you'll notice with my dimension lines is the fact that all of the numbers are facing either one way or the other. So all of these ones that are on their side, if you turn the page, they're all facing towards you. And when it's faced like this, the dimensions here are the right way up. Um, what you'll notice as well is I've not put millimetres on there, because what I'm going to do now is write in the corner that all of my measurements are in millimetres, along with my name. I'm also going to put a title on here, so I'm going to call it um, Clock Design. You might want to put Memphis clock design, or in my case I could put space rocket clock design. I'm also going to put all dimensions in millimetres. Also I need to give information about the fact that this is a scaled drawing, so remember this is divided by two. So the way we draw this is we put scale, one, colon, and then one to two. And also I want to put today's date. And I'm going to call it drawing one. So in the development of a design idea you might do several versions of this. So if you're working from a, this is called a working drawing, the person that's working from it needs to know what version they're working from. Finally I'm just going to draw a box around this information. 